Good evening and welcome to our Wednesday prayer service. We're glad that you're here and hope that you will find this a time of refreshment as well as a time in which you can take a deep breath and connect deeply with God. We begin uh, with Wayne Fisher. This evening we have two readings. The first is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 55, verses 10 through 13. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty but it shall accomplish that which I purposed and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For you shall go out in joy and be led back in peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall burst into song and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Instead of the thorn shall come up the cypress and instead of the briar shall come up the myrtle and it shall be to the Lord for a memorial for an everlasting sign that shall not be cut off. And our second scripture is Psalm 65, verses 5 through 13. By awesome deeds you answer us with deliverance, O God, of our salvation. You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and all the farthest seas. By your strength you establish the mountains. You are girded with might. Your silence, the roaring of the seas and the roaring of the waves and the tumult of the peoples. Those who live at earth's father's bounds are awed by your signs. You make the gateways the morning and the evening shout for joy. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The river of God is full of water. You provide the people with grain for you so have prepared it. You water its furrows abundantly, settling its ridges, softening it with showers and blessing its growth. You crown the year with your bounty and your wagon tracks overflow with richness. The pastures of the wilderness overflow and the hills gird themselves with joy. The meadows clothe themselves with the flocks and the valleys deck themselves with grain. They shout and sing together for joy. As we are in the depths of the summer, it's also a time of where we see growth 
Um, we see th uh, green, we see warm evenings, and we see God's goodness all around us. We hear from our scriptures today um, the blessing of the earth, the blessing of creation, God's joy that comes to us. I uh, hope you'll take a moment to think about that just for a second to meditate on God and God's goodness in your life. Tonight we light the candle for healing. For those in our congregation that knit healing and peace. For those who are battling the coronavirus uh, as the days go on, we here in Florida are hearing more about our, our friends and neighbors who are getting it, we pray for them. For our children and youth, uh, as we get into the summer and as they continue to have to social distance, um, just to be with them and guide them. For those who have lost loved ones over these months and the difficulty it has been for them not to be able to gather for friends and family for comfort. We pray for our country as we just celebrate the Independence Day and as we continue to try to get a grip on the virus. We pray for those making decisions as people are beginning to think about work opening and schools going back. We pray, Lord, that uh, Wisdom and will be with them in guidance. For all those special prayers in your life, the people that you know, we lift them up for the joys and celebrations, uh, birthdays and anniversaries. We thank you for those who are part of our lives. We pray, Lord, that you will hear our prayers, that they will be a blessing to you, and that you are answer with your goodness and your grace.
Let us pray. Gracious and loving Father, we gather here once again and we lift up our prayers to you. We lift up prayers of healing and wholeness. We lift up prayers for wisdom and guidance. We lift up prayers of concern Gracious and holy Lord, we gather and we ask for your grace upon this, your world. It seems that creature and creation are crying out. We ask that you hear our prayers, O Lord, and our cries as we look to you for comfort and peace, for healing and wholeness. Help us to breathe in your goodness and your grace. Let us inhale the sweet fragrance of your peace that passes all understanding. For those who need their nerves calm, those who need to see the light of hope, those who need joy within their lives, we lift them up to you this day. We give you thanks for this day that you have blessed us with. We give you thanks for family and friends. We give you thanks for opportunity to serve you. Though it is different than we're used to, there are still ways that we can reach out and meet the needs of a hurting and ailing world. We continue to lift up those that put themselves in harm's way. We pray that you will keep them safe and may they know the gratitude that we can never express to them for what they have done for us and for all peoples. We lift up leaders those with authority and those who make rules and pray for wisdom and guidance, compassion and humility, caring and understanding. We lift up the scientists and the doctors and all those who are, who are rushing, who are using every minute of the day to find a way to stop the virus. We lift up all those who come to us this day to warm our hearts, to say kind words that remind us of your goodness, and to feel your spirit of holiness. We ask that you surround us and be with us as we go into the night. May it be gentle. May we find solace in your word and may tomorrow bring us showers of goodness. These we ask in your son's name as we lift up the prayer which you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Receive now the benediction. May God, our guardian, protect you. Christ, the healer, restore you. And the Holy Spirit sustain you this day and forevermore. Amen.